hey welcome back guys in this video we are going to take a look at creating this really awesome text animation inside hit film express so uh, let's begin this tutorial so let's create a new composition go to file new and the thumbnail I'm gonna choose is 1080p at 30 frames per second click on start composting and then we can start by creating a text layer so I'll use the text tool and draw a rectangle shape like that and then I'll just type in the text that I want to use so I'll just type in quick and then go to the text tab and change the font to bbass and I'll also increase the font size just like that and then we can rename this to quick All right so then we can just go to the layout tab uh, this is only available in the newest version of it from Express so make sure you do have updated to the newest to the latest version and then we'll have this layout tab in your headphone as well so uh, once you have it then you can just go to the layout tab and click on this button that says align horizontal center and align vertical middle I just close this yeah, so there we have it now uh, the next step is to duplicate it and let's just put it under our text layer and we're going to select it select the text and type in text and we'll just rename this to text as well there's our text layer and then uh, we can again duplicate it bring it to the bottom and then we're going to rename this to let's do effect it doesn't matter so let's just um, select it control a to select your text and type in effect now let's see if our text is properly visible so this is our first text then the second and then the third one and I just increase the size of it and then it's again selected go to the layout tab and click on these two buttons in the middle do the same thing with the text as well so that is already done right so uh, we are done with our text you can add more text if you want to but for this tutorial three are enough so I'm just gonna create a new plain layer called this mask and give it a color and click on OK. Let's just hide it. And uh, what we can do is we can animate this mask clear. So uh, make sure your selection tool is selected. Now we can start. Make sure playhead is at the first frame of your video. Then change the position and put it right over here. Create a position keyframe. Let's move 20 frames forward. You can hold the shift key on your keyboard and tap the period key on your keyboard twice to move 20 frames forward. And we can just change the position and bring it to the left like that. And let's move five frames forward. Uh, we'll create the same keyframe. So let's click on this icon that says toggle keyframe. Let's move uh, 20 frames forward again and we'll just change the position and bring it to the right side or we can just copy this keyframe and paste it right here and then again move 5 frames forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 create the same keyframe move 20 frames forward and we can just bring it to the left side like that so we have this animation then you can select all these keyframes and convert them to manual bezier all right so that is looking nice so now what we can do is um, we can again drag in this mask layer onto our timeline we can just hide it and make sure your we'll rename this to line and we'll select the rectangular mask tool let's just zoom in and we'll create a shape like that and then we can hide our 
mask layer and unhide the line layer then we can just simply parent our line layer to the mask layer and you can see our line will also be animating like that okay now um can change its position as well something like that so yeah so we have something like this right that is looking nice so um what we can do is um on the first frame of your video make sure you are at the first frame of your composition and as you can see our text is already visible uh but what we want to do is we want the mask to reveal our text so to do that we'll go to effects and search for set mat and apply it onto our text layer let's go to set mat set the source layer to mask and we'll set the blend to subtract and also click on this invert checkbox so now you will see that your mask will be revealing your text which is already what we want just put it right at here and yeah so um, we have something like this uh, nice so uh, let's go back yeah the text uh, disappears as well so really good so uh, now we have our second text layer let's just enable that now uh, our text layer is visible the second text layer is also visible at the first frame so we don't want that um, so we can use the mask layer let's just expand that and I'll just double click on the third keyframe and what we have to do is we'll just uh, make sure that the text layer starts from that point so we'll just move the layer at that point and then we can so let's just apply the set mat onto our text layer go inside the set mat set the source layer to mask Let's set the blend to subtract so um, we have something like this uh, looks really nice and then when it goes back you can see the quick text the or the first text is revealed again so we don't want that we want our third text which is effect text we want that to be revealed um, so to do that we can again use the mask layer go inside the transform just double click on the second last keyframe and we can just uh, trim this quick text effect uh, quick text we can just trim it at that point and then we can enable the effect text layer and make sure that it starts from that point now again apply the set mat effect on your third text layer set the source layer to mask and set the blend to subtract make sure you click on this invert checkbox so let's see what we have so far and I think that is looking really nice so we need to make few adjustments uh, for example right here we can use the you can change the position of this text layer so let's just let's just see um, yeah we can change its position uh, we can bring it right over here okay and uh, we can also change the let's just make sure that it is in the center so select your effect layer go to layout and align it in the center and then I think we should use the mask layer to you know reveal this text completely so we can select the last keyframe and let's bring it to the left side like that just effect and there we have it just want it to be this text maybe we can change the position right here so the third last keyframe we can change its position and move it right here we'll just copy this and paste it right over here so we have something like that okay it looks really nice 
So now uh, we can what we can do is enable the motion blur on our line layer, and we can go into effects and search for fill color. You can apply the color to any of these layers. Expand the fill color, set the blend amount to 100, and change its color as well. So let's take a look at our overall animation. So that's it for this video guys. If you have any questions, please do mention them in the comments below. And do like this video if it was helpful and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.